So hello buddy and welcome back. I hope you guys liked the intro that I made. I didn't make this in such a long time. We're gonna be making a sh I, two, we're gonna be starting a new series where we're gonna make a 2D top down shooter inside of Unity. It's gonna be quite cool and without further ado, let's get into it. So to start off you wanna create a 2D sprite with something like a knob in it so that it's a circle and that's what we want. I'm gonna turn down all the way down so that you can't see the um, edges and that's how it should look I'm gonna change the main camera background into white so it comes out better and maybe just turn it down a bit more and give this a nice circle collider to do the movement we want to just create a new script called movement and just create now we can just wait normally people would um, declare an input the axes and stuff but I actually don't do that and instead I do it a lot simpler so I start off with the float variable for speed remember I did that tutorial on this but in this case I just want to go with this one because it's just a lot easier for people who are just beginning and that's the um, class group I'm aiming for the beginners so the other one it's more like you understand the engine a bit you know what rigid body is and all that so that's why I'm changing it up a bit this episode. And all you have to do is just put in a void update method. Oops. And then it's just the if statement. So if key code dot. Oh, wait, no, no, that's not it. Input dot get key. Get key. Key code dot A or W. That's front. And if you want to, you also use the arrow keys, but at the same time, W. Put two of the. um straight lines and then input dot get key key code dot up arrow and then you want to just put an else for now copy that and then instead of putting a you want to put the opposite of this so that you can't click both at the same time so I'm putting s and down arrow so that's the front and back movement now if you want to do the um, sideways movement it's the same thing but if but then instead of double you want a and instead of up arrow you want to put in left arrow over here you want to put in the brackets again else and same thing instead of putting W you want to put in the opposite of the a right here which is D and right arrow there we go whoops spelling a lot mistakes this time so now what you want to do now you want to just put in transform dot translate vector 2 to the position so if this double no like the target so if you go clicking W you want to go forward so you're gonna put in up times the speed times time time dot delta time and you can just copy that and instead of the up part, you can just change that to whatever direction you're going. So here you can just put in um, down. Left. And right. Okay. So that should help out with the movement. And there shouldn't be anything wrong with this code. So we're just going to go back and check. Okay. So... I'm just gonna change the speed to around five because I think ten's way too fast. So now, if you click start, I'm actually gonna be clicking WASD first. So WASD, it's kind of laggy today. And arrow keys. Okay, so what I had in mind was that they have uh, some kind of like weapon, but instead of using a mouse to control, you would use your arrow keys, um, left and right arrow. To rotate your character and then to hit them while you're rotating um yeah and you want to just go back check it out your player should be able to rotate and move around with the WASD keys by now not in trouble so now if you try to move around like that and move rotate this we can increase the speed to like something like a thousand or something oh that's ten thousand that's way too much a thousand and you try it again for watching this video to the end i'm sorry we had some technical difficulties in the middle but we still managed to make it through without 
too big of trouble. And next episode, like I said, we're going to work on the shooting enemy if I have time. And yeah, that's it. And if you want to watch the previous video, which was about um, the 10 minute challenge, go ahead. And it was quite interesting. I didn't finish, but uh, hey, at least it's a challenge and I tried. And please hit the like button, subscribe if you want more of this, and click the bell button so that you don't miss the next episode. And I'll see you guys in the next video.